Hi, I am Thomas, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I am going to show you how to reduce data transfer charges for the NAT gateways. Let's get started. First, determine the major sources of traffic through your NAT gateway. Then, consider the following strategies for reducing data transfer and processing charges. Let's navigate to the VPC flow logs section. Confirm that you have VPC flow logs enabled on your VPC or NAT gateways elastic network interface. Create a flow log to enable VPC flow logs if necessary. Open the CloudWatch console. In the navigation pane, choose Logs Insights. From the drop down list, select the log group for your NAT gateway. To find the instances that are sending the most traffic through your NAT gateway, run the following query. To find traffic going to and from the instance, run the following query. To find the internet destinations that the instance in your VPC communicate with most often, run the following queries. For uploads, for downloads, Determine whether the instances sending the most traffic are in the same availability zone as the NAT gateway. If they are not, then create a new NAT gateway in the same availability zone as the resource to reduce cross AC data transfer charges. Determine whether the majority of your NAT gateway charges are from traffic to Amazon Simple Storage Service or Amazon DynamoDB in the same region. If they are then set up a gateway VPC endpoint. Route traffic to and from the AWS resource through the gateway VPC endpoint rather than through the NAT gateway. There is no data processing or hourly charges for using gateway VPC endpoints. If most traffic through your NAT gateway is to AWS services that support interface VPC endpoints, then create an interface VPC endpoint for the services. See the pricing details for interface VPC endpoints to determine the potential cost savings. If most of your internet traffic is destined to non-AWS resources, then consider using an internet gateway for instances generating the highest traffic. Unlike NAT gateways, internet gateways give you instances direct internet access at no cost. Security groups and network access control list can be configured to prevent unauthorized access to instances. Depending on your security policies, for connectivity through internet gateways, instances must be in a public subnet and have a public IP or elastic IP address associated with its network interface. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.